Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be checking out the Mattel Simpsons Homer Simpson figure. Now, these are pretty small figures. Just to show you, the tape measure tells us that this figure is only about four and a quarter or four and three quarters of an inch tall. Oh, we gotta have a look at the original packaging that came included with Homer Simpson here. This is from the Mattel line of Simpsons, not the Playmates uh, toys versions of Simpsons that we got later on. But this one includes five fatherly phrases. For kids over four man, actually it says right at the top there. Spin around, and I love that the Marge says, don't break up the family, collect us all. She's yelling, I guess, at the TV. She's holding up, I'm assuming a cool cookie tray full of cookies. I can't imagine those be hot, or they would be scalding her arm. And then you've got Homer, looks like he dropped the carbon, the carbon rod. Uh, that's probably gonna start a fire. And you've got the opposable figures and accessories come with word balloon that you can fill quips and quotes. Each figure sold separately and tells you exactly which characters uh, come with uh, which phrases. So that's pretty cool. 1990, that's when you would set your time machine back. It comes with a whole ton of accessories. There they are right there. Uh, let's talk a little bit first about the word bubbles that they come included with. This one says, no problemo. This is the defaulted one that comes with Homer Simpson, and I don't think reading No Problemo, I'm thinking Homer, rather I'm actually thinking Bart Simpson. But they unplug, they just peg out, and they are just cardboard, there's nothing overly fancy with them. But he comes with several different phrases, we'll kind of look at all of them now. Get them all together. So of course we already looked at No Problemo. He also comes with Why You Little, which makes more sense. Do I smell cupcakes? Do I ever? Do I smell cupcakes? Do I ever? Okay. Oh, Marge, I love your snack treats. And where are you from? The planet Cornball. These are, of course, taking it from, I'm sure, along the ways, quotes that they've said probably around the 1990s time frame. Probably the closest one I would think of, for Homer at least, is Why You Little. So we'll go ahead and just take that. And it's... There's like a little tab at the top, tab at the bottom, and that fits just underneath like so. And you may even have to kind of fold, fold the bubble back a little bit. There we go, just to get it underneath both tab points. Uh, so there's this peg, this quite very obnoxiously large peg, and it attaches to the top of Homer's head. Right there. And you can have Homer talking, in this case, saying, why you little? Um, it, it's a nice way to have the characters get a little extra umph to them, get a little extra th stuff going for them. But it does look weird having a big word bubble sticking above Homer's head, especially by the fact that you have to peg it into his noodle for him to properly say it. But, you know, it adds a little bit of appeal. I do like it for that. Go ahead and unpeg this. It also comes with a bunch of nuclear power plant uh, trinkets, such as his helmet. And the helmet doesn't sit, I will tell you this, does not sit very well on his head. It doesn't sit at all, it really just, you just place it over his head more so, and it, like, yeah, it sits a little on the loose side. It also comes with a glove, which, let me show you here, just fits over top of his hand and then fills the whole area, lines up the hole with itself and then he can hold the rod. I would advise if you are having Homer holding the rod, have him holding it with the glove so he's not gonna scold his hand. So those are the accessories that come included with the figure. Go ahead and take all that off, take the glove off and take the head off and let's have a look at the figure itself. Many would have grown up with the Playmates Simpsons figures, the ones that have the interactive play sets. But in all honesty, this is the, these are the Simpsons figures that I remember growing up with. Um, I remember seeing these at Toys R Us. I remember having a friend that actually collected a whole bunch of these. I think the only one that she did have, I think she had, I know she had Bart, and I know she had Bart Man. 
I think she had Homer and I think she had Marge. I don't think she managed to get the Lisa uh, or the Nelson. I think those are the two that she couldn't she couldn't find. But I do really like them. They have a they just have a really neat look to them. They're very dated and vintage looking, and I think that's all the more reason why I really enjoy these figures. They also kind of remind me more so of the Simpsons arcade game. And man, oh man, did this guy pop a lot of quarters into the Simpsons arcade game. That and the Ninja Turtle arcade game. Those were my top two. And I guess X-Men arcade game as well was my three go-to arcade uh, arcade game, games I used to go to. So, pretty cool. I also have the Simpsons arcade game, I think for the PS3. It was one of the downloadable titles. So, yeah, it was fun to kind of go back and, and play that vintage game. Homer, I think, really does look a lot like he did in the arcade Kind of a very elongated head. Big smile on his face. I think I also like them because of their size. They're not overly big. And surprisingly, they're fairly poseable as well. Um, they are squishing the head. Their head is kind of a like a soft rubber, so to speak. So you can't squish their heads. You've got the hair zigzag on the back of his head, as well as the two stripes on his head. Try to overlook the fact that he's got a big hole in his head as well. Posability on this guy, head rotates, arms rotate, nothing in the actual arms where you can rotate them this way, waist swivel, and his legs go back and forth. So if you actually had proper display stands, if they had made a display stand that had a, a peg going up, you could have actually had it in, in which it looks like Homer would have been walking. And again, I just really like the size of these. They're, they're compact. This is the first one that we're looking at on this channel. Hopefully I can pick up the others along the way and we'll be looking at those in future videos. But uh, overall, I really think Homer is a fun vintage toy to be adding to your collection. What I really like doing with these retro videos is going back and having a look at toy lines that maybe I grew up with and in the process of, hopefully these are toy lines that maybe you grew up with as well. And it's always interesting to hear comments from younger viewers down below that may have said, oh, I don't really remember this particular toy line, or even one better, oh, I remember my brother or sister may have had these growing up. They're a little cuter in design, a little bit more compact in the design, but in all honesty, I think I like these ones a little bit more than what the Playmates ended up doing. Sure, the Playmates had the sound effects and certainly a multitude of other Springvillians, uh, Springfieldians, I suppose, uh, but there's something to be said about like the old Mattel line. Again, they're cute. They're a little smaller. I find they're a little bit more hands-on, the type of figures where I want to pick up and just kind of play around with them. I think I have a little bit more fun with these ones than I did with like the Playmates toys ones. The accessories are bare minimum. He has pretty much what one would expect for Homer Simpson back in the 90s to have a lot of the nuclear power plant stuff. The word bubble or text bubble above Homer's head is a nice additional touch. Again, it looks a little weird pegging it into his head, but again, it adds a little bit more just to the design element of it. And certainly if you're displaying him, it's kind of fun in all honesty to put him with that word bubble. Even though I think maybe Why You Little might be the closest thing to a Homer Simpson, the other ones don't seem very Homer-esque. So I probably would be end up displaying him with Why You Little before I would display him with the other ones. Either way, though, today we set our time machine back to, I think it was 1990. 1990, Mattel, as we had to look at the Simpsons, the original Simpsons toys from the folks over at Mattel. If you guys like these little retro videos, let me know down below and uh, we'll try to do more of them on this channel. If you guys also haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so as there's going to be tons of videos coming to this channel. If you also want to head over to my main home page, scroll down the section where there are the videos and just check out maybe some of the videos that you may have missed along the way. If there's a video that you want to see, feel free to watch it and let me know in the comments section of that video what you think of the figure. Always like reading new comments in old videos and certainly that's the one thing that we want to do in 2018. As always, guys, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.